In this video, I will show you how to um, add sound to your Blender file. So, usually when you are doing animation, you're doing adding characters and stuff like that, you probably are doing it um, against a sound. So, you need to, when you're animating, you probably want the sound in your Blender file so you know when to animate a certain thing. So, I'm in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is that you're going to open um the video sequencer so then what you're going to do is that you should have already downloaded your audio in the folder or wherever you have put in then you do shift a then you add your sound and then when you add your sound you're going to quickly find your um audio as you can see we have the audio over here now if you want to get the properties for the audio you can just press n and you can see you can change the sound you can display in waveform as you can see the waveform is there or mono and the time when it's going to start when it's going to end and all sorts of stuff now i'll leave it to the defaults and then if you want to change the volume if you want to mute take on the zero if you want to do max level you can see our wave waveform how it is affecting that so i'll just keep it to one so then what you're going to have to do is that now if you can see that it is playing now now if you want to render the sound with the animation so let's quickly animate this cube I to add a keyframe. Let's quickly go to our timeline. So I to add a keyframe to move it, then grab on the Y. Let's move it there. I to add a keyframe now. This guy, you can see that the sound as well when this is moving. And that's a good thing. Now, sometimes your sound won't play when you open your file after you have closed it and then you open it again. Now, there's a way to fix this bug. Now, it normally happens, but it's not a big issue. So, when your sound, you can't hear your sound and the, and the volume is already to one or it's up to like 100 or something like that, and you can't really hear your sound. So, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, and then in your system, system over here, go to Sound, and you have, if it's on None, it needs to be in, in this one, Wasapi. If it's a non, do it to Wasapi. And if it's already on Wasapi, so you just you do you, you go to none and then change it to Wasapi again and then it will like restart and then you can literally just save your preferences and then it would work. As you can see it would work. Now now let's see how you would render your audio with the animation. So right now you have to go to your um output properties. Output properties. Now, when you're doing it, you can only do it when you're doing an FMPEG video. You can't do it when you're doing a PNG. You won't get the option. You have to do it with the FMPEG video. So, first of all, the encoding is normally MPEG4. Now, regarding the audio, this is the end. We have a, a drop down button for the audio. Now, you would normally want it to, as you can see, by default, it will be set to no audio. Now, you usually want it to be MP3. That's what I usually do. But you can, you can, you can choose your preference. I would do MP3 as is more better. Now the sample rate and the byte trade, just leave it to the default value. And then of course you can um, mess around with the volume. And that is actually it. That is how you would add audio to your Blender file. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it to anyone who need it. And I'll see you in another video.